Okay, we're recording. Hi there, everyone. Uh, today I've got a beer review, but it's, it's a bit different. I don't know why I'm doing this, but it's uh, it's beer for dogs. <laughs> Bottom sniffer beer for dogs. I think this is from Aldi. It was like reduced, so it's probably even out of date. It says, give your dog real tail swagger with this non-alcoholic, non-carbonated doggy beer. The, the ultimate refresh, the ultimate doggy refreshment will help make your make your dog leader of the pack. Will have other dogs sniffing their bottoms with jealousy. Believe it or not. So yeah, beer for dogs. They've got quite a lot of these out now. They seem to be quite pro popular. I see them in in pub like dog friendly pubs. Seem to have their own like um, dog beer and stuff like that. And uh, I see them in quite a, li a lot of different cafes and shops. Um, yeah, it's a it's a strange phenomenon, but they exist now. And um, yeah, if you want to buy your dog a beer, it doesn't get them drunk or anything. But you know, whatever. <laughs> and um, I do know someone who bought one of these dog beers like in a pub, not knowing it, not knowing it was for dogs, and proceeded to drink it. So um, yeah, I've never tried one myself, but I wanted to experience it, see what it was like, and. Um, Let's have a look what it says. Non-fermented beer wort with, from concentrated barley malt. Oh, fuck, wait. <laughs> Non-fermented beer wort from concentrate, barley malt, water, acidifier, citric acid, and then bladder rack, which is seaweed. Natural chicken flavoring. Mm -mm -mm. Burdock, dandelion, flax, nettle, rubus. That's um, red bush, isn't it? That tea. And then um, pre preservative of potassium sorbate. Mmm. So yeah, I'm excited. To, I'm excited to try beer with a chicken flavor. And uh, I don't know where it really is a beer. It's it's uh, you know non fermented. So does that count? It hasn't got any hops in there or anything like that. But, um. It says serve as a drink or over food. Serve in a bowl suitable for dogs. Ensure fresh drinking water is available. Maximum serving is one bottle per day. And it says it's a complimentary pet food designed specifically for dogs. And also on the on the um, in the shop it said in big warning letters, not for human consumption. So this might kill me. I don't think it would, but. Doesn't smell of anything whatsoever. Let's have a look. I, unfortunately, I haven't got the um, the dog's bowl to serve up in because I don't have a dog of my own. But um, I do have this regular human pint glass, half pint glass. Sorry. Let's have a quick. Oh, it just looks like it just looks like dish water. My God. I expected it to at least look a bit like beer, but no, it just looks like. It looks like even weaker than when you make like lemonade at home with like lemon juice, a bit of lemon juice and some sugar. Smells of nothing, it smells like dirty dishwater. No, very, very, very faintly smells of like, um. A bit like sort of sweet and a bit sort of maybe citrusy. Mm -hmm. You know, it smells. It smells a bit like like a Seven Up. If you imagine like a very weak Seven Up, something like that. Yeah, let's try this. Hmm. Quite tangy. It's actually got more flavour in it than you think from the smell of it. It's um, mm, it just tastes like a refreshing sort of cordial drink, like a lemon cordial or something like that. I was quite interested in the um, from the from the ingredients, the chicken flavour and the seaweed, the nettle, the everything else. I thought mm, it's gonna taste really unusual, but it doesn't really. It's a, a bit like, mm, 
Yeah, it's got a bit slight of let's slightly a slight iced tea sort of flavour to it. If you imagine drinking like um one of those um you know those bottled iced tea drinks you can get. I can't remember what they're called, Lipton Ice. Something a bit like that, but then really watered down to the point where it was more water than Lipton Ice. Yeah. So um, it's, it's actually not bad. You know, if if someone gave you that and said it was like a, a, a just a you know a, a nice non-alcoholic drink, I don't think you'd think, oh, that that tastes like dog beer. Definitely not getting any chicken flavour in there. It's uh, hmm, yeah, not not what I expected. I don't think I don't. I don't know if a dog would like this. Be interested to see. But it's definitely not a beer by any sense of the imagination. You expect it to have like a bit of a foamy head on it and be a sort of similar colour to beer or something like that. But um, yeah. let's finish it off. It's not bad. It's not a bad drink. It's not horrible, which I was expecting more. It would be horrible. It'd be more interesting then. It's just. It's just like a little soft drink. There is something floating around in there. I don't know if you can see. There's like a, a lump of something. I don't know what that is all about. Maybe that's a bit of chicken. I like the idea of him, though. I like the idea of an owner having, you know, sitting back and enjoying them beer and then having a bottle that they can give to their dog. You know, something special for the dog. But, um, I don't know, I'd be interested to see what the dog thinks of it. quite like the logo as well, because it's like um, a dog's nose and a T. The two T's and the O's make kind of like the nostrils of the, the dog's the dog's nose. That's quite clever. Pretty much all I can say to it. <laughs> and up there on the label, it's got two dogs sniffing, sniffing at one another's bottoms. Yeah, I, not much to say about this, honestly. I thought, I thought there'd be more to say. I thought maybe it'd taste like savoury or something like, you know, something you'd imagine a dog enjoying. Um, I'm not even sure, like, I know that cats don't like the smell of, like, citrus and stuff. It's quite citrusy, so I wonder if dogs are the same. Maybe, maybe it'd be something a dog wouldn't even like that much. I don't know. I'll leave that little lump in the bottom. I don't know what that's all about. Yeah, so dog beer. It's uh, definitely a first for this channel. <laughs> I. Yeah, I don't know what to say about it. It's it's far less interesting than I thought it would be. Um, yeah, it just tastes a bit like watered down cordial. A little bit of a tea flavour to it. Yeah, that's about it really. Okay, there we go. That was some experience, I suppose. Dog beer. Anyway, there we go. Hope you enjoyed watching. See you next time, everyone.